In this video, we will do challenge number three, that is JCL one of IBM Z Explorer. It is in the fundamental section. So let's do this. Click on JCL one. Go down. Here is the PDF. You can click on continue reading. Let's take the quiz first. Three questions are there. What elements might you find in a JCL? Input, output. Programs to run. When JCL gets submitted, it creates a job. In this screen short example, we showed earlier what is the name of the program the JCL is seeking to run. The program is this one. This is the compiler. This is the dataset name. This is the program that should run, and this is only the dummy variable. Let's click on submit. All the answers are correct. Click on continue. Take me to the challenge field DF. Here is the PDF. This PDF has 15 steps and it will take around 90 minutes. So let's go to step one. We have to go to public.jcl and look for a member called JCL setup. So let's go to VS code. Here is JXP public.jcl. Go down. Here is JCL setup. Then in this step 2, I have to submit it, right click and click submit job. So right click on this one and submit job, job submitted. Then in step 3, I have to go to the tab that is jobs. So here is the tab jobs, here go to Z explore, here go to this magnifying glass and in the job owner give my user id that is Z1. 5260 and then press the enter key. Again, you can press the enter key and again press enter key. So, this is the job that we just submitted JCL setup. Expand it. Step 4 is asking us to click on just message log. Once I click here, it will show return code of 0, and that means successful execution. Step 5 is also just giving us more information. You can read it. Then let's go to step 6, kicking off some COBOL, go to public JCL and copy JCL2 and paste it inside our own JCL. So let's go to data sets, here go to JCL2, this is JCL2, right click and copy member and paste it inside. And we have to paste it inside our own JCL. This is our own JCL. So right click and paste member. Give the same name JCL2. So now it is successfully copied inside our own JCL. This is my user ID.jcl and here is the member. So step 6 is also complete. Let's go to step number 7. Step 7 is also giving some more information so you can read it. Then in step 8, I have to submit JCL2. And then look at the output in the jobs tab. So let's submit JCL2. This is JCL2 inside my own JCL. Right click and submit job. You can see job submitted. So let's go to jobs. Let's refresh it. Let's close it and expand again. Here is the append. I can see here, this is the job, append u4038. So the step 8 is also saying that we will get an append. So let's go to step 9. In step 9 it is telling us that the JCL statement which is beginning with cobol.sysin points to the cobol code. So here is cobol.sysin and in this data set is our code zxp.public.source and inside it cbl0001. So let's go to this data set. Here it is public.source and here is the code cbl001. This is the COBOL code. There is an error in this code so we have to fix it. So let's go here. Select first name assigned to f name, last name assigned to last name, 
select first last assigned to combined let's go to the jcl here you can see there is a spelling mistake instead of combine it should be combined like this give control s to save and see cvl001 you can see here it is combined let's go to the jcl change it to combined right click and submit again job submitted 7064 go to jobs let's refresh it you can see here 7064 condition code 0 so step 9 is complete in step 10 we have to copy jcl3 from public jcl to our own jcl so this is public jcl let's find jcl3 this is jcl3 right click copy member then go to our own jcl right click and paste member jcl3 just press the enter key and then you will see jcl3 and that's it jcl3 is now copied step 11 is giving information about the dummy variable so you can read it step 12 is giving information about the disp parameter so you can read it as well step 13 is also giving more information about the disp parameter so you can read the step 13 as well and then go to step 14 you have to submit jcl3 and look at the output so this is jcl3 right click and submit job job submitted 7072 condition code is 0 to check the output we have to go to this dataset user id dot jcl3 out so let's go to jcl3 out let's refresh the list here is jcl3 out in jcl3 you can see this line is repeating two times beacon and beacon same way this Scotland is also repeating two times so we have to remove this line in the jcl so go to the jcl and you can see cotland 38 m1 is repeating two times so what you can do is you can comment these lines like this same way here you can see beacon is occurring two times so remove one line that's it control s to save then submit jcl3 submit job job submitted 7074 let's go to jobs let's close and expand again jcl error data set jcl3 out not defined because duplicate exists so first we have to delete the data set so here is jcl3 dot out right click and delete once it is deleted we can click on jcl3 right click and submit job job submitted 7075 let's go to jobs close and expand again 7075 cc0 let's go to jcl3 out close and expand again here is jcl3 out and it has 23 lines you can see the duplicates are now removed so step 14 is complete in step 15 we have to submit check jcl1 in public jcl public jcl here is check jcl1 right click and submit job job submitted 7076 let's go to jobs condition code is 0 that's it all the steps are now complete let's go to the website go down challenge complete check my submission you just earned 5 points. You have successfully completed the JCL challenge. Let's close all this. And you will see challenge is unlocked. Show them now. USS 1. If you like my videos, then you can support me by buying my mainframe course. After buying this course, you will get 19 hours of mainframe training. This course will teach you COBOL, JCL, VSAM, TSO, ISPF, Unix System Services and CICS. You can watch the free preview before buying my course. Make sure you buy the course using the referral link in the description.